gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again, but not doing beer, not doing near beer. Uh, I have no idea. It's a mocktail, from what we've been told. That's that's the word <laughs> on the street. Our resident friend and mocktail expert, Bumpy, Bumpy Road Brews, he knows all about this stuff, but we don't know anything about it, so we're going to learn today. <laughs> what, what do we got, Dan? What is this? Uh, that's Mike. I'm Dan. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is from the Clever, I think it's just called Clever. Okay. Uh, or Cleaver. Cleaver. Maybe. Cle- I'll I don't know. Clever. Uh, Clever Mocktails okay. is the company. Uh, basically, they are out of Canada, out oh. of the fine province of Quebec. Ooh, great it's province, province, Quebec. Right? It's a province? I think they have nations up there. Nations? Possibly. I don't know. If you're from islands. Canada, correct us. Uh, yeah, so this is Burroughs. The Borough of pink. Quebec. G and tonic, so it's a gin and tonic premium mocktail, zero percent ABV. It's not even like less than 0.5 ABV. They went straight zero percent, zero. So they got all the cat. It's got like 80 calories and stuff. Okay. Uh, there's some big French words I don't know. But didn't but, you take French in high school, Dan? Like that was like a long time ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Uh, this mocktail uh-huh. has all the floral and herbal notes found in oh. classic gin and tonic, plus a hint of black currant. Oh, F- flavor! They okay. spell flavor weird, so flavor. Uh, flavor. Uh, bringing it to the next level, a truly clever cocktail. Oh, I get it now. Clever girl. Clever girl. All right. All right. Well, I'm in. Like now, how many how many gin teas? We broke do you out the fancy tasters for this. <laughs> <laughs> how many gin teas do you bob on a daily basis? Probably zero. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, oh, that looks... do, do you do the gin? Do you like the gin? Uh, I've had the gin. I know about gin. Okay. I know what it's called. You that... know who likes gin? The A4 Munchin? Bumpyisms. He loves a good gin. Oh, I don't doubt it. I mean, uh, look, this is beautiful it's looking. Got, it's got this. Slight, it's got like the slight pink. Yeah. Thing. Look at that, just sparkly. gorgeous in this glassware. Cool. I mean, the oh. gold like trim oh. goes really well. I feel with it. sophisticated already, so. <laughs> I think it's more of an evil than like, yeah. You know. But rich yeah. people are evil, right? It's true. Yeah, yeah. We're okay because we're poor. Yeah, yeah. but we're rich in friendship. I don't know why, but I still think of like Mr. Peanut. <laughs> I think of rich people. <laughs> He's the embodiment of evil for you. <laughs> He is. He's, he's like Mr. Pe- oh, he's like, Mr. Peanut. He's like the most evil, like, <laughs> like in the in the world of like, just like characters and mascots. Like they're all just having a good time at you know at the beach, playing the 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 yearly meetup. You know, playing volleyball, cooking out. You know, everyone gets together. Talks about their stories in the industry. And Mr. Peanuts sitting in there to the Coco Cabana. He's got like. People fanning them off with like leaves. Remember waxing the shell. I feel like you remember in The Simpsons when any time they'd show the Republican Party, be like Mr. Burns, and they're all up in this castle. And like I feel like Tim, you know what? What's his name? Money bags from Monopoly and everything. <laughs> and those are the guys just like watching all the other mascots, like <clears throat> we're better than that. And they're drinking out of these glasses. Out of these glasses. Drinking gin and tonic. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna get a whiff. Oh, oh man, that is floral all day, <laughs> grassy it, like cut grass floral. Is there an, what? There's like this weird kind of funk right can at you the beginning. Swirl this? Is is this swirl? Like you can swirl any beverage as the beer swirls. Yeah, yeah. That is so bitter. <laughs> like it, it is chewing on grass. <laughs> it is bitter. herbaceous. It is floral. Wow. It is uh, that kind of juniper kind of thing kicked to it. Um, if someone put like handfuls of grass clippings with a splash of water in a blender, that's what I feel like this smells like. And the little pink starburst to add to it. Starberry. Wow. <laughs> this is the most bitter. <laughs> I've ever smelled, man. It's insane. I, I gotta be honest. I'm not trying to like shit on it right away. But there's a bit there's a bit of like like floor cleaner. <laughs> like I feel like Fab Fabuloso, the other big purple jug, whatever it is. Alright, let's just Yeah, let's dive in. Alright. First mocktail. Yeah. 
Let's, Cheers. Yeah. Oh, that tastes infinitely better than it smells. Oh my goodness. Woo! Um, grapefruit. Like, really pithy grapefruit. I don't have any saliva left. <laughs> well, I mean, it is still dry as hell, man. Oh, it is dry. Uh, very, oh, um, the carbonation level is pretty moderate. The carbonation level to be i thought it was going to be like overly carbonated yeah. but I, I like where it's at almost like club soda yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah there's that i can see that fruity grapefruit thing oh yeah but yeah dude it's like all the pith <laughs> all the pith oh, it's it's beyond pith at this point it is it is i don't even know how to explain this like i i don't know gin well enough like, I, I, I know gin either. but uh, Right, I yeah. get the gin notes in there. Like, uh, now that I'm drinking more, I can taste the gin. Um, man, it is so, like, it is just sucking all the saliva out of me. It, it reminds me of hibiscus a little bit. Mm. You know how I feel about hibiscus. Uh, I know how you feel about hibiscus. Um, it's still, it's fruity, it's floral, it's super grassy. I don't know if I can get down Very this. dry, very bitter. Um, I, I don't know who this is for. I guess G and T people. I think it's for like the D and D at the club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean that aspect but, absolutely, but this flavor. I, I feel like I have no idea. I think it is meant for like over ice. I mean, they show the can on the rocks with like a wedge of like. Do we not drink this properly? Or, probably not. Bumpy I, I would assume. You know all about these. I would assume. Um, I like how we've roped that man into this, and he has nothing associated with this. No, yeah, no vibe I'm putting out. Um, I don't know. Well, have you guys done the mocktails? Yeah, look, let us know. We need some more information on this. I, I feel like for what it is, it's probably pretty good. I mean, the more I'm drinking it, I guess the more I'm getting into it. The first sip, I was like, whoa, where's my saliva? It's super yeah, dry, yeah. grassy. Uh, there is kind of like this bright kind of... I think that grapefruit transcends into like this... Um, like a white grape. Almost. I can see that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's not bad. They're a little malty. I'm struggling to to see if I could drink a whole can of this. Maybe it's better over ice. I don't know. Over ice and I don't know, a little orange juice, gin juice. <laughs> that could be a sign. Uh, or uh, grapefruit juice. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. That I can see why people are starting to make these and getting into them, exploring mm -hmm. like. I mean, we just saw our first NA shop open up you know, here in Rochester, New York. That is true. Uh, they would serve everything non alcoholic Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. um, I can see these being a staple there. I, I feel like the word vibrant comes to mind for this. It's just very like... There you go. Uh, something we are not. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I can't really rate it. I, yeah, I don't know how to rate it. I really don't know how I'm, to... I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. For, for being the first one, I really don't know. If we're doing the thumbs, like... Like yeah. jo Joaquin Phoenix, like yeah. Gladiator style. Uh, I'm in the middle. I, I, I really hope we get some comments or whatever. I'm not ready to send it to the lion's den. <laughs> I'm not ready to crown it. Either. Right, right. I'm glad we got to try it, though. This, this is interesting. We've been shunned by the beer community. The minute this releases, they're dead to us. That's yeah, okay. We do what we want. No one's shackling us. Goddamn right. All right. Uh... Hey, Billy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Billy may shackle us. I don't know. You might. <laughs> all right, gang. Uh, all the links down below. We got the link tree. Hit us up. Uh, yeah, you can find us anywhere. Basically. Sure. Why not? Uh, it's, it's even got Mike's home address on there. He just doesn't know it. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. Cheers.